Okay, on this example it says find the values of x in which the equation right here, y1 equals 3x to the 1 half plus 7 is greater than this equation right here. Well, actually these are radical equations. 3x to the 1 half is the same as 3 times the square root of x. And then this right here, 1 third power, is the same as cube root. So these are two radical equations. So uh, this is definitely nonlinear systems of equations. So we want to go to the nonlinear system sheet. And we're dealing with two radicals, so you want to click on that. And now this gives you a place where we can type in our coefficients for our two radicals. So I typed in the coefficients for both of these equations. The first equation was y equals 3 times the square root. The a was 3. Since it was square root, the b is 2. And it was the square root of x. So the c is 1. There was no other constant under here. And then there was a 7 at the end. And then the second equation was y equals the cube root. So the a in front of this would be 1, 1 cube root. Cube root, the b would be 3 then. The c was 2. And the d was minus 5 because underneath the cube root was 2x minus 5. Same as saying this stuff raised to the 1 third power is cube root. And then plus e was 20. Now, scroll down and guess what? There's no find solutions button, so it has to be solved graphically. Now, the blue is the square root, which is 1 half power. And the red graph is the cube root button, which is 1 third power. These will intersect because 1 half is bigger than 1 third, so eventually this graph will catch up with this graph. How far out do you have to go? I don't know. Let's go out to about 80 and see if they intersect, and they do. And In fact, I can see that they intersect at about somewhere between 30 and 40, so now I can start narrowing in on it to get the exact place of where they intersect. And let's see. Can I figure it out? Well, it's somewhere Oh, let's see, this will almost tell you the data point, somewhere around 31.2 or so. So I'll tell you what, let's go up here and go from, let's say, 31 to 33. And they do intersect, and definitely it's in between 31.5 and 32. So let's go 31.5 to 32. And I can see that they intersect between 31.6 and 31.7. It all depends on how close you want to get here. Let's try it a second. 31.6 to 31.7. And so now we have it out to the hundredths place. So about 31.65. So when x is greater than 31.65, this square root graph will be bigger than the cube root graph. And again, uh, that's showing how we zoomed in on it. And about 31.66 or about 31.65 on that. Uh, let's go on to the next example, and it says find the values on x in which the equation 3, uh, in which the equation y equals 3x squared is greater than the equation of this circle, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 9. Now to solve this type of problem, this is a parabola and this is a conic section, it's a circle. So let me click the back button here so I can get back to my choices. And actually, even a parabola is considered a conic section. So this is going to be the last choice right here, conic sections. So now I need to put in my coefficients for the two conic sections. And I'll do that in just a moment. OK, I'm on the two conic sheet, and I have my coefficients in. The first equation was y equals 3x squared. Well, the y and the x's have to be on the same side. So I left the 3, 3 for the a, 3x squared, and the it was y equals 3x squared, so I had to bring the y over with the x squared, changing its sign to negative 1. And here's where the, the e is the coefficient in front of the y to the first power, so that's negative 1. All the rest are 0, and that will get you that parabola right there. Now, the circle equation was uh, right here, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 9. Well, these would need to be foiled together. And I've done that right here. x minus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And y plus 2 foiled together gives you y squared plus 4y plus 4. And it equals 9. And now I need to type these coefficients into the other conic section area over here on the right. And I type those in. And then at that point, I, graphed, I looked at the graph, and I could see that they're intersecting, well, somewhere around an x value of, well, and here close, you know, very close to a negative 1 and 1, you know, very small values. So I narrowed it in for, to negative 1 to 1, and now I could narrow in, and I'm looking to find out where is this graph, this parabola, higher than this quadratic. Well, it's before this first point of intersection and after this uh, second point of intersection. Now, there's no way to find those except graphically like we did on the last problem. So this is maybe, let's try negative 0.5 to 
uh, 0.5. You know, we're just going to narrow in on it, negative 0.5 to 0.5. And if I do that, well, the negative 0.5 is a bit too high, and the positive 0.5 is a little bit too low. So let's try negative 0.4 to maybe uh, 0.6. And it's there, 0.6 is a little bit too high. So we know this answer is somewhere between 0.5 and 0.6, about 0.55 here. And you just keep on adjusting it until they hit, and that's a pretty good estimate right there. This one needs to be a little bit farther to the left. How about negative 0.45? And that's a pretty good estimate there for such a difficult problem. From So basically the parabola is higher than the quadratic, not between these two values, but before negative 0.45 and after positive 0.55. And if we check, I've really worked on this problem a good bit, and um, I, I don't, I'm looking for where the answer has actually worked out, and I think here it is uh, before this one and after this one, and you could keep on getting it more and more exact, but that's plenty good enough. Okay, on this example it says find the values of x in which this equation, y1 equals 3x to the one-third, that's the same as 3 times the cube root of x, plus the absolute value of x plus 2 is greater than this equation, x times the natural log of x squared. Well, there's no place to graph either one of these type of equations that are pre already set up for you. So the place to graph these is the any graph sheet, where we can graph anything. Conics would be very difficult to graph on this, but we could if we needed to. Now, none of these are conics, so let's go ahead and graph the first equation, which is equals 3 times x raised to the parentheses 1 third power plus the absolute value, that would be abs, of x, and then plus 2. Okay, there that equation is in. Let's go ahead and click here to get the graph. And we got the graph. Looks like a straight line from 1 to 2, but has a slight curve to it. I don't know how far out we're going to have to graph this. Let's go ahead on over here and graph the second equation, which is equals um, x times the natural log of x squared. Hit enter. Click here to get the graph. And we have that graph, pretty wild looking graph here. Okay, now over here we have both graphs. Now I'd like to graph them over the same area and I can see that they might intersect back here somewhere. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and graph them from, I don't know, negative 10 to 10 to start off with, just to see where they might hit. So give this a check second to work. And it graphs both of the equation here over the same viewing window from negative 10 to 10. So I can see every point of intersection pretty much occurs real close here, about negative 1 out to about 4 or 5. So let's do this again. Let's go from negative 1 to 4. Maybe I should go 5 and click set to start and end. And I think I pretty much have it at least to the nearest whole number anyway, we were trying to find out where this black graph, that's that first graph, is greater than the uh, second graph that's in red here. Well, here's where they hit. The, it's about at negative 1, and when we saw this earlier, the red graph kept on going down and the uh, black graph kind of went up. And uh, so it's when is the black graph greater than the red graph? Well, before x equals, well, when x is less than negative 1, and also from here, which we could zoom in on this spot by changing our viewing window, maybe going from like negative 0.2 or so to zero, but from here, which is a very small fractional amount, like a negative 0.2 or so, up to uh, this spot right here, which is three point something. And again, we could change these to see these locations, but it's before this point of intersection and from this point of intersection up to this point of intersection. And, uh, Definitely you would have uh, something that would, would uh, maybe say to the nearest tenth or so on a problem like this. Let's look at this from, let's say, negative 0.3 out to, oh, this seems like it hits about at, uh, oh, maybe 3.8 or so. So let's try that and click the uh, button here. So it uh, hits a little bit before negative 0.3 and a little bit after 3.8, and you could keep on adjusting these until they hit, and that would be the way to do a problem like this. But